today. <laughs> All right. Well, no matter what you eat, you know, maybe stick with something on the cooler side because it's going to be pretty hot and, you know, eating something hot when it's hot outside doesn't necessarily work out all too well in my opinion. 86 right now in DFW, so it could be worse. We're only at 81 in Waco, 80 in Temple, 79 now in Colleen, 82 in Bryan College Station. I'm watching this frontal system that stalled out to the north. It's not going to be doing a whole lot. It was bringing up a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity yesterday, mostly for Oklahoma and Arkansas. That's not so much the case for today. It's really bringing a couple of isolated showers, maybe some thunderstorms to the northern border. Right around Wichita Falls, we're looking at possibly, you know, a little bit of rain, a little bit of thunder, but nothing on the severe side. Again, it's so close yet so far. We're not seeing anything. Most of this stuff will stay north of the I-20 corridor as we continue throughout the afternoon and this evening. So, well, it means we're back with the heat once again. Sorry, guys. Excessive heat warning in effect until about 8 o'clock for tonight. Again, National Weather Service is just issuing these on a day by day basis. So we're going to keep our eye on it because we're kind of at the cusp between a heat warning and a heat advisory. Either way, it's still going to be hot. There's nothing we can really change about that. But I know a lot of kids are going back to school right now, of course. So here's your bus stop forecast. By this morning, it'll be about 81 degrees. Plenty of sunshine is in the forecast. You're going to be in those mid to even upper 90s possibly by your lunch hour and then by after school today. Well, we're talking about 103, possibly getting up to about 105 right around five o'clock, even six o'clock this evening. So it's not just the heat we need to keep our eye on. It's the fact that we have that red flag warning. It's been extended as well. That's going to be in effect for the all of I-35 corridor, including Falls County as well, pushing its way out to the west. All western counties are going to be affected by this, but it's not just going to be if you're on a red flag. All of our viewing area is currently under those burn bands. Make sure you guys are observing them, especially as the winds begin to pick up. And well, we don't see much relief in the overnight. Here we go. Breezy tonight, 15 to 20 miles an hour, sustained winds. Gusts are going to be getting up to about 25, even 30 miles an hour. That's just downright breezy. 80 degrees for tonight, not a whole lot of relief. Well, how are those winds going to handle throughout this afternoon and evening? They're going to be pretty strong, especially by around 1 o'clock today, and then they start to pick up even more so going into the late hours tonight. We're talking up to 30 miles an hour, very strong southerly winds. Now, these winds are going to keep any kind of activity well to the north of our region. So unfortunately, while the winds bring in the warm and dry air, it keeps the rain away. How dare they? Nonetheless, though, we're still going to be stuck with more of those southerly winds going into your Friday morning and even your Friday afternoon as well. Here's your future cast showing basically a little bit of rain trying to make it in, but then those winds say nope, not today and they go away. Same thing going into your Thursday evening too. Again, just so close yet, and yet it's so far away. It doesn't seem like they're really getting the message. Temperatures because of that are not going to be on the decrease. It's going to be almost a carbon copy anywhere between those mid hundreds. We're talking 105 for Central Texas for the next few days. Brazos Valley possibly getting up to about 106 on your Friday. 